For today's video, we are going to continue the series of discussion on base, rate, and percentage. And this time, we are going to focus on how to find the rate. So basically, when we say rate, it refers to the number of hundreds taken. It is the result of comparing a number that is the percentage which is regarded as the portion or part to another number which is the base which is regarded as the wool. So basically, when we are dealing with the rate, rate can be written in percentage, decimal, or fraction. And to solve for the rate, just simply divide the percentage by the base and express the result as a percent. And this will be the formula that is rate equals percentage over base. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number one, what part of 400 is 50? Since we are comparing two numbers, that is 50 and 400, 50 is the part or portion and 400, that is the base or the whole. So to solve the given problem, let us use the formula rate equals percentage divided by base. So percentage, that is 50, and base, that is 400. So let us have percentage, that is 50, divided by base, which is 400. Let us cancel the zero. It will give us 5 over 40. And 5 over 40 can be written in simplest form. It will give us 1 over 8 because 5 and 40 are divisible by 5. So 5 becomes 1 and 40 becomes 8. And 1 divided by 8, it will give us 0 0.125. Since we are looking for the part of 400, which is 50, let us write this one in percentage. That is 12.5%. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, what part of 600 is 360? So 360, that is the percentage. And base, that is 600. So let us use the formula in finding the rate. That is rate equals percentage divided by base. So let us have the percentage that is 360 over base that is 600. Let us cancel the zero. It will give us 36 over 60. Since 36 and 60 are divisible by 12, so 36 becomes 3 and 60 becomes 5. And 3 divided by 5, that is 0 0.60. So right, to write this one in percentage, it will give us 60%. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, how many percent of 1,200 is 400? So to find the percent of the given problem, let us use the formula rate equals percentage divided by base. So percentage, that is 400, and base, that is 1,200. So let us have the percent or percentage, which is 400, divided by base, that is 1,200. So let us cancel the two zeros. It will give us 4 over 12, and 4 over 12, can be written in simplest form that is one third and one divided by three that is 0 0.3333 and if we are going to write this one in percentage this will be 33.33 percent and this will be our answer on example number four 64 is how many percent of 320? So to solve the given problem, let us identify first our given. So let us have the percentage that is 64, base that is 320. And let us use the formula, rate equals 
percentage divided by base. So let us have the percentage that is 64 over the base that is 320. Since 64 and 320 are divisible by 64, so 64 becomes 1 and 320 becomes 5. And 1 divided by 5, that is 0 0.20. And to write this one in percentage, this is 20%. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, 375 is what percent of 500? So to solve the given problem, let us use the formula. Rate equals percentage divided by base. Where percentage, that is 375. And base, that is 500. So let us have the rate equals percentage, which is 375 over the base that is 500 and the greatest common factor between 375 and 500 that is 125 so therefore 375 divide by the greatest common factor which is 125 that is 3 and 500 divide by 125 which is the greatest common factor that is 4 so 3 divided by 4, it will give us 0 0.75. And 0 0.75 in percentage, let us simply move two decimal places from left to right. That is 75%. And this will be our answer. On example number 6, Mr. Cruz sold a pair of rubber shoes bought for 3,500 pesos and earned a profit of 750 pesos. What percent of the original price is the profit? So to find the profit of the given problem, let us use the formula. Rate equals percentage divided by base. Where percentage, that is 750 pesos. And base of 3,500 pesos. So let us have the percentage, that is 750 Divide by 3,500, that is the base. Let us cancel the zero. It will give us 75 over 350. Since 75 and 350 are divisible by 25, so 75 becomes 3 and 350 becomes 14. And 3 divide by 14 it will give us 0 0.2143 and if we are going to write our answer in percentage this will be 21.43 on our last example the annual salary of a faculty member is 326,000 pesos if he receives a bonus pay of 35,250 pesos what percent of the annual salary is the bonus pay? So to solve the given problem, let us identify first our given. So let us have the percentage that is 35,250 pesos and base of 326,000 pesos and let us use the formula, rate equals percentage divided by base. So let us have the percentage that is 35,250 divided by base that is 3,000 or 326,000. Let us cancel the zero. It will give us 3,525 over 32,600 and if we are going to divide this one 3,525 divided by 32,600 it will give us 0 0.1081 and if we are going to write 0 0.1081 in percentage that is 10.81% and this will be our answer 
So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.